It felt horrible. Just the worst experience of my life, honestly, to see him like that. I want justice for my brother. A young man is recovering from a brutal beating that happened on Saturday night. It put him in the ICU, and now his family is looking for those responsible. Nine News reporter Sonia Gutierrez met with Adrian Colmenero's brother today. Sonia, they're looking everywhere trying to find some answers. Yeah, Tom, so they're trying to piece together why he was found in a downtown alley unconscious. The victim, still in ICU, talked for the first time last night, but was not able to provide any clear answers. Family is trying everything, including Facebook. You might have recognized this post uh, on Facebook. It's been shared thousands of times after Adrian's family asked people for tips about what happened Saturday night. The only thing Denver police was able to tell us was that they have a report from an aggravated assault at 2.30 Sunday morning. The victim was assaulted by one or possibly multiple suspects in the alley near Market Street. Ramiro, Adrian's brother, tells us that he was out with a friend at Beer Hall. Somehow, he ended up unconscious on the ground in front of the, gri of the giggling grizzly. Adrian has to get, uh, had to get brain surgery. He suffered a fractured rib and blown up pupil, according to his brother. Ramiro hopes that with enough people remembering what they saw that night, they can find the people responsible for this. It just broke us down in our knees and we started crying for him and it just felt so horrible. I mean. Like I said, Adrian's like my best friend. He's my brother. I love him so much and I miss him. I just wish he can be home with me right now. DPD tells me they're actively investigating. If you were in downtown Denver this past Saturday night and remember seeing Adrian, who was wearing a black shirt, black jacket, black jeans, and black shoes with white stripes, or with stripes or at, rather, um, please let police know what you saw. Tom Kim. Yeah, I imagine there are also a lot of cameras in that area that police will be trying to get a hold of and, and look at any video to try to identify people who were or, or people who weren't there. Yeah, Adrian's brother told me that police uh, were look, trying to piece together pieces uh, of the surveillance video and looking for that today. So um, even him, it was heartbreaking when I met him today because he was going business by business, asking them if he can take a look at the surveillance video. I mean, that's how desperate this family is to figure out what happened to mm. Adrian. Somebody had to see something. Busy, busy, busy area. So mm -hmm. hopefully the, the news will get out. Thank you, Sonia. Yeah.